Hello and welcome to the spectacular city of Sydney, Australia. Home to the world's largest natural harbour, it's a must-see destination for tourists from right around the world, while the New Year's Eve fireworks are on top of so many people's bucket list. And this week, competitors from 28 countries have headed to Sydney Olympic Park for the Siamanair Australian Badminton Open. To take you through all the action, here's Jill Clark. Hello and welcome to the Australian Open, the sixth event on the 12 tournament MetLife BWF World Super Series. The Super Series is the elite tier of tournament in the sport of badminton. 12 tournaments spanning the globe and this year the Australian Open is the last Super Series before the Rio Olympic Games. So it's the last major chance to pick up valuable ranking points towards the Olympic seeded position. Super Series finals, of course, at the end of the year. Now, they will be just for the top eight players and pairs in each of the five disciplines. And the destination for those Super Series finals, once again, is Dubai. Well, it is semi-finals day today, and we've got five matches for you this afternoon. We're starting with mixed doubles, and Mu Kai and Wang Yaxiong up against Chan Peng Soon and Go Li Ying. Beaten finalists here four years ago. Then we have men's singles and Hans Christian Vieting, who's trying to reach a first ever Super Series tournament final. He's up against Srikanth Kidambi of India. Then women's doubles and the number three seeds, Tang Huan Ting and Yu Yang, incredibly trying to reach an 11th final in only their 12th tournament together. They're up against the number two seeds, Meswari and Polly, the World Championship bronze medalist. Then women's singles, and as with the quarterfinals yesterday, two former world number ones, Wang Yi Han, the Olympic silver medalist, up against Sina Newell, the Olympic bronze medalist. Then we finish with men's doubles, and Lu Cheng and Zhang Siwei, a brand new pair in their first ever tournament together. They're up against Gideon Marcus Finaldi and Kevin Sanjaya Sulkamoljo. So before the first of our semi-finals, the mixed doubles, a chance for us to look at the mixed doubles draw. And from quarter-final stage, only four different nations, four Chinese pairs. And as one uh, other pair, the Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto, the All England champions, the only seeds left in the top half of the draw, two seeds in the bottom half, and we'll be concentrating on that bottom half of the draw in our first semi-final today. Well, I mentioned the Dubai Super Series finals, and as far as the Super Series standings are concerned, all top five pairs have contested a Super Series final this year, but the winners last week in Indonesia, Zhu Chen and Margin, shot up five places from number seven to number two. And the beaten finalists last week, Go Sun Hyung and Kim Hana, consolidated their position at number one. So the first of our semi-finals, mixed doubles, Lu Kai and Wang Yaxiong. There they are. Up against Chan Peng Soon and Go Li Ying. As the players make their way to the court, a chance for me to introduce Steen Pedersen, the former head coach to the Danish national team. And obviously with the number seven and eight seeds, currently ranked 10 and 11 in the world, this meets doubles a match here. It should be a tight affair. Yeah, I'm very interested to see this match because I also think it gives us a little uh, look into the future. Um, after the uh, Olympics, perhaps not so much this um, Malaysian pair, even though I think they could perfectly well still be playing on. But I also think uh, Lu Kai and uh, Huang Yachong, they're the ones um, that we're going to look up for in the future. Yes, they are only 23 and 22 years of age, so they've got many, many more years. Chinese youngsters. Matija Orojnek of Slovenia, I'm here for this one. Her first duty, the toss of the coin. You take my Castle right side. Will be Sir, the service judge. Sir. Thank you. So, does that mean that the Malaysians can choose which end of the court they start? Oops. Yeah, they won the, the cost time, so they, right. they decided to start on the near end to the camera. 
So as far as these two pairs are concerned, go through to the semi-final stage without dropping a game. Liu Kai, well, he's enjoyed success at this tournament before because last year he was beaten finalist in the men's doubles with Liu Cheng. 23 years of age from Nanning, capital of Wanxia, the southern China. Tall man, isn't he? That's about six foot three. And they're number 10 in the world ranking at the moment. These two, Wang Yaxiong, 22 years of age, from Hujou. Have been as high as five as a combination in all of their matches in two straight games. First round against the gold medalists from the European Games last year, Nor and Tuesome. And then in the quarterfinal, they beat the number four seeds, their teammates, the World Championship silver medalists, Liu Cheng and Bao Yi Sin. That was just 28 minutes. So to Chan Peng Soon and his partner, the number seven seeds, they are down one place in the world ranking. So these two pairs swapping ranking positions on Thursday. They have been as high as three in the world ranking and four years ago, they were beaten finalists here in the mixed doubles. That, of course, was when the event was a Grand Prix gold. Go Li Ying, well, she's 27 years of age. I've got it down at 26, but she's already turned 27 from Malacca. As far as they are concerned, in the second rounds, they beat the defending champions, Li Chun Hei and Chao Hoi Hua in just 29 minutes. That was extraordinary. And then in the quarterfinal, they beat their teammates, the pair who'd beaten the number two seeds, Fisher Nielsen and Pedersen. Well, this is the third meeting between the two pairs. And the two previous occasions have been won by the Chinese pair. The last time they met was in the first round of that French Open last year. Two straight games it was on that occasion. And that match, last time they met, was just 29 minutes. 21-7, 21-9. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chan Peng Son, Go Ying, Malaysia. <laughs> and on my left, Lu Kai, Kuang Te Kuang, China. Huang Zhangpyong to serve to Chen Peng Son. La Vol. Play. So the number eight seeds, Lu Kai and Wang Yaxiong, getting this semi final underway. Well, both these pairs have enjoyed super serious success. One. Earlier this year, as far as the Malaysians are concerned, at their home event, they reached the final, losing out to Tontoi Ahmad and Lali Liliana Nasir in the final. But on the way to the final, they beat Xu Chen and Margin, who won the tournament last week in Indonesia, and in the semi final, beat the world and Olympic champions, Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei. So they've been in great form, and as far as Liu Kai and Wang Yaxiong are concerned, well, earlier this year, they won their first ever. Super Series title, that, in India. Service over. One, two. That's well played. Well, certainly, Steam, when you and I were watching this Malaysian pair at their home Super Series event, we were so impressed, especially with Go Li Ying, the way that she was really 
able to dominate the front of the court. Yeah, we were. She played a really great tournament, and that's why I was a little bit puzzled to see the head to heads here. But I can remember that um, Play. in the Denmark Open, where uh, Go and, and Chen, I think, were playing. Um, at least I, I remember that they, they didn't. They had some tournaments where they weren't really playing well. It seems like they were Whoa. indecisive whether they were able to qualify for the Olympics or should they um, challenge, should they keep on playing together, should they um, stay with the team and so on. I think they've played a, a brilliant um, spring here, especially in Malaysia Open uh, where we saw them excel and they, they can beat the best players in the world. So I'm yeah. not sure it's going to be as lopsided as the head-to-head -head suggests. No, I, th I thought oh. that uh, match in Paris Sorry, last her. year, I mean, Go Lu Ying, in the spring of 2014 had operations on both her knees and I thought it was really the beginning of last year when they started to make their comeback didn't they and they were having to play challenger events and uh, Grand Prix events oh. some Grand Prix gold events and had to work their way back up the world ranking and Four. I don't think they were really into the speed no. of play at Super Series level so I don't think we can read too much into that last match no I think I also saw them lose the final of a Grand Prix event or a challenger to a Danish pair, um, quite surprisingly. Play. But it, it's going to be very, very important for the Malaysians if um, Goryu Ying can dominate the net. Like that. Yeah. The Chinese pair, extremely Service good um, above Four. Ta Four. tape height. Very powerful look high. Play. Oh. Oh. Service over. Five, four. We've seen a number of um, quite high Chinese doubles players emerge on the world scene. Tall, you mean? Yeah, tall. <laughs> so we asked the Jun Hui. Hong Wei. Six, four. Former player, Xie Jongbo. Also, very good mixed doubles player. Intriguing Four. battle at the net. Yeah. I, I have um, the feeling that Chen Ping Song is really, really uh, tensed in this match. Sort of the way he walks and, and look, he seems searching. Oh! Um, sometimes we saw during the Malaysia Open that Eight. when he was nervous, he sort of Four. tried to give the impression that everything didn't really matter. And. Um, I think he's a little bit in doubt what to do at the moment. Settle the nerve, surely. Yeah, I think so. Always nice to get to smash a couple of times, Five, sort of eight. hit the nerves away. Look, I play. Oh, this 
over. Nine, five. Quang Ya Xiong. Doing a cross court net shot off her opponent's cross court net shot. That was the one. through the defence in the end. Interval. The tall man, Lu Kai. So just eight minutes. Only game interval and a six-point advantage. Yeah. And further and further towards his forehand side. Quite satisfied with this pair. Chinny Wee. He coached in the Malaysians. So as far as you're concerned, five. Steen, if you were. Chin Hee Wee, what would yeah. you have been saying to the Malaysian Play. pair? Yeah, there's two problems. The first one is that the Malaysians are too defensive, and the second problem is that they can't hold the Chinese in the defense. Um, 12, they're five. simply too powerful in the attack, and, and that, that's the difference compared to, for instance, uh, Jiang Nan and Jia Yunlei, that uh, Lu Kai, he, he's, uh, he hits harder than um, Jiang Nan and, and steeper as well. So uh, the Malaysians, they gotta, they gotta get the attack here. Yeah, right, they did that. Yeah. And they, so they can't over. expect to, to, uh, to win this easily. They can work hard. So, Six, 12. a lot of challenges um, throughout the net and the front court. Some long flat drives. Five. In my opinion, to keep the court open, Lukai. if Lukai. Lukai. Oh, the umpire going to have a word. Don't the game. Don't play. Play. Well, I think the man was having a, a bit of a cough, a coughing yeah. fit. Play. <laughs> well, they're obviously being very strict about yeah. being continuous. Service between we've seen Chan struggle with his um, low serve. To receive in the beginning of the match. And the first service. And 
simply can't afford errors like that on the return of serve. Yeah, he's certainly not settled. I take your point, Steen, very much. But, you know, I, on the way down to the stadium from the hotel where all the players are staying and we're staying as well, and, and I walked behind them on the way down, and he seemed to be chatting away to his coaches and friends and seemed quite relaxed. But that's a different matter when you get onto court, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think it's the same thing that... Sort of, you, you play it the opposite way around. You try to, to give the impression that you're unbothered. Yeah. When actually, in fact, terrified. Mm. But, uh, I mean, both pairs have won easily, haven't conceded a game throughout this tournament. So, should have built up some confidence at least. Third shot by um, Go, quick reaction. Ten, yeah. 14. Smash. Yeah. 15, 10. Oh, I was wondering if that was a good one. that. Look at that. I wonder what point that was. And that's the thing to do. Get so the shovel below the tape. They simply 11, have to... Uh, reduce the pace of the rallies, uh, the Malaysians. Got to go for accuracy over speed. And now he's challenged and he's served Chan. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> that's a perfect service. That's extraordinary. What a great serve. <laughs> Oh, you won't see better than that. Look at that. Skimmed over the net. Absolutely landed on the tee there. Nice change of pace. Oh, brilliant. Oh, there's a challenge. There's a challenge here. Challenge called in. Well, the line judge was quite definite, pointing in. Yeah. But then the Chinese were quite definite about challenging. And then the coach was challenging. He was uh, in not so good position. But uh, he raised his arm as well. Yeah. So it was in. Well done, line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Thirteen, fifteen. Play. Skinned over the net, but just wide of the centre line. He doesn't give himself much margin no. to uh, work with. Now that's what yeah. you were after, that softer downward yes. shot. Yeah. Take away the pace. Um, uh, quite. Good job by Huang Yachong. Excellent. 
shoulder, the shoulder. 17, 14. Yeah. I've been singing the praises of Go Lu Ying, but Wang Yaxiong, Play. equally good at the front of the court, reads the game well. Yeah, and, and has a little bit of an easier task Look because she's got a much more no. powerful um, partner, so she can afford to block a number of shots where you would actually want Go Lu Ying to try and kill them because uh, she's the one's probably who, uh, she's the one who has to make um, a number of the points, killing the opportunities that uh, Chen is setting up for her. Indecision at the back of the court, you can't afford that. Service from Chen at 13-15. Uh, they were just about to catch up. And now yeah. it's still four point deficit. Must go and Service over. So. 20 game point, 15. Mm, Longest really the match so far. Those are game point opportunities. Oh, yes. And game. well taken on the first opportunity. 21-15. Minutes. First match. Yeah, one by Look how she takes that. In the right place, at the right 15. time. Anticipated well. So game number one, 21 15 in 19 minutes. Well, Zhang Zhu obviously saying something about the cross court lift there. Or or oh, there's a gap across court. There might be some chances if they can move Champing Song from side to side. I mean, that's always a good, always a good uh, strategy in the mix to move the male player from side to side.
there's no better backdrop in the world to make sure your event catches the eye than the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And earlier in the week, the stars of this Yaman Air Australian Open were on the edge of the harbour to launch this prestigious event. And five days on, we're down to the semi-finals. Let's rejoin Jill Clark. Love all. Play. So one game to the goods, the number eight seeds, Lu Kai and Wang Yaxiong. And the Malaysians do perhaps the nerves have settled from Champeng Sun. Oh, that was a lovely drop shot. So the over. Yes, I think Steen may have to show from the start of this second game, the Malaysians, that they, they really have a desire for this and they're really out to try and win it. Yeah, and it's also a lot about the body language that yeah. you have to show the opponents that you're putting your heels down here and not having it. Service over. One, all. Coaches pointed out to so Champion Sun that hey, you're the one they're yeah. targeting. I mean, if he doesn't know it, yeah, then he, he, he gotta be aware that Play. after he's made one shot, the next one is coming to him again. So he's got to be ready. Yeah, that's a great interception from Ying. chance of that coming Three. back when it's coming down from that, that height. It was a shocking serve, wasn't it? And I wonder if that... Yeah, Young <laughs> Ling just taking refuge there. And we've discussed Three. it earlier this Four. season, Jill, and I just feel that... Um, if you can if you can survive with one serve or one and a half serve you might you might get past the first rounds but if you can survive the semifinals and the finals um, serving like that then you must be clearly superior to your opponents because I mean they've got two services Four, three. Oh. yeah and it's I mean, we've talked about it with a number of players haven't we yeah. you, you know that you know, you lose confidence on the serve, and most people think, well, it's just a case of going away and practicing, but you get in the match situation and the psychology of it all. I mean, the number of golfers that get the yips on the putts, you know, and there's no logical reason that, you know, other than psychologically, they have doubts themselves. And, and I think the longer it goes on, the more it will affect your game. There's some that have been admiring very much that they were able to sort of play a really, really good game, though their services were uh, less than average. Uh, I think as, as time goes by, I mean, it has to get into your mind in some way. I, I don't think you can look away from it when you, when you lose matches. You necessarily have to wonder, what if I'd been serving well? Yeah. What does my partner think? Mm. I think also what she thinks. What if you've been serving well? Service over. I mean, everybody knows Five. that it's not done on Four. purpose at all. Yeah. And they're probably practicing very, very hard at home. Oh, 
discussion there from Gold to her partner. Six, five. Accepted. But it, it's the third shot. He puts pace in the in the uh, rally uh, jumping zone. He's got to control it to play the soft shots, and that's really really difficult if you're a little bit tensed. But but that's the only way forward in my opinion for this Malaysian pair. Come on, players. Come on. Come on. There's obviously a directive from the tournament referee that players shouldn't be wasting time. I can't say it's, I think that it's been particularly bad. Or, or no. we, we want players to sort out their tactics so that we can watch a, a good game. And it's keeping a fine balance, isn't it, Steam? Because yeah. you and I have been the biggest critics of players wasting time in the definitely, past. Definitely, definitely. You know, yeah, um, I agree with you. It hasn't been something that I've noticed in this match. However, if that's something that's going to be enforced throughout the tournament from now on, then I support it. Yeah. yeah. Pushed it just yeah. wide. Yeah. Eight, six. Well, at least he was playing, trying to play the softer shot, Steve. He was trying. So he's just got to do a little bit better job next time. There's also the lifts from the Malaysians. I think they have to lift flatter. They can't afford uh, to give a lot of time to Lukai. Service over. The problem is that they have less time to get ready in the defense Seven, as well, but, but they've got to eight. do something within the first one or two shots in the defense. I don't think they can survive uh, powerful smashes from Lukai. That's well played. And the first shot from, from Chen was really, really good here. Eight, it's like, then four. he thinks that, okay, now I'm home safe, I've made one good shot. No, they're going to play it back at you. Mm -hmm. And then he lifts. This time for, uh, or to uh, Wang Yachong. And they survived, but um, if Lukai gets below that, they're in real, real trouble. Play. Disappointment, obvious there. All the Malaysians. Nine, eight. Oh, my goodness. Put his partner in the back. He was trying to play across court. No, oh, no, no, no. She just I was couldn't wrong. get away. That was a fantastic yeah. service return. Yeah, that's delightful. Yeah, well played. Champeng Soon was more worried about directing his partner than yeah. focusing on his defensive play. Look, he, he points to his partner, you yeah. cover cross court. Yeah. 
in this match, I mean, they just have to realize something soon that they're not surviving the controlled offense from Lukai. That means if Lukai is in a good position, got lots of time to uh, decide where he wants to hit it, they will have a sort of like you know, perhaps one or two out of ten that they survive and change around and win the rallies. So they got to play creative in order to avoid these situations where they have to lift really, really high to look high. Oh my goodness. Well, he read that. 11, 10, interval. The drop shot, shot from Champing soon. Lukai absolutely steps into this. Look at him. Forward he goes. Thanks very much. And, and then what did he think? Did he think that they would be standing there waiting for a smash when his whole body language was saying, I'm going to take the easy choice? So 11 10, mid game interval. Yeah, it's. A problem for Champeng soon. He's he's got to. You're right. His body language has got to say something different to what it's saying at the yeah. moment. And it's interesting that the uh, Malaysian coach was having a quiet word with Go Li Ying. Yeah, but she she can't do that much. She's actually trying when. Whenever she has the chance. Eleven, ten. Play. I, don't, I don't know if it's something with rolls and, and the mixed doubles as well, or like if, if uh, Chan feels that he should direct the mix. In my opinion, he shouldn't. It's it's Go Liu Ying who's clearly the better player. Um, if you um, sort of uh, compare the two. Positions. I mean, he's really, really strong at the net. It's, it's Champing Sung who's the weak link here, and he's very weak. Well, mm. ten. Yeah, look at the body language again yeah. there. One sort of feels that the Chinese pair are on a roll at the moment, so it's desperately important for the Malaysians really to get back in this. Yeah, it's going to be now, otherwise, uh, I mean, the closer they get, the more Play. nervous I suppose Champing Sung gets. lucky on that because <laughs> the yeah. low serve was short. <laughs> That's another try. Yeah, decided that shuffle doesn't work for him, but I'm a new one. It was too slow. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to give a lot of credit to the Chinese because they're really, really clinical in the attack. that since winning the 11. India Super Series, Liu Kai and Wang Yaxiong, I think they've grown in confidence. I thought at the end of last year they were looking decidedly sort of uh, dodgy. You know, they'd, yeah. they'd shot up the world rankings when they first came on the scene playing together and then they uh, sort of struggled for a little while, but they're right on the rise again now. Yeah, yeah. It was interesting how high they were on the Super Series ranking. It was actually... Uh, Zhang Nan and Jiayong Lei and, and 15, Liu Chang and Bai Xin, who was three and four there. Yeah. As far as Chinese pairs are concerned. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Four Chinese pair amongst the top ten. Yeah. 
great play by Lukai. 16, 11. Well, he obviously likes this event, doesn't he? In the final of the men's doubles a year ago. With Liu Chung. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that was their first ever tournament, wasn't yeah. it? Incredible backhand there from Liu Kai. Took it so late, but he controlled 17, it so well. 11. Look at this. Players, play. Chinese very much on the attack. And as you were saying, Steen, as far as the Malaysians are concerned, they just cannot afford to be on the defence. So that's the big difference between these two pairs. Just wants to try out the new racket. They never really realized this, the Malaysian pair, that the, the key sentence in this match is don't lift. Mm. Whatever happens, don't lift. Because yeah. if you lift, you're lost. It's a good serve. Well, they have played well. 20, the number eight seeds point. from China. 11. And they've got a whole host of match point opportunities now. And lived up to their 2 nothing head-to-head -head lead. Yeah. Very impressive uh, play. Second match point opportunity is converted. They are through to a third Super Series tournament final. And their victory over the Malaysians, Champing Soon and Go Liu Ying, really very convincing. 21 15, 21 12 in a match lasting match 40 minutes. So 12 of the last 14 points. Well, from 9, 10 down, they just raced away with it, didn't they? All credit to them. Liu Kai and Wang Yaxiong through to the final. So for Liu Kai, it will be his second final here in two years. Confirmation of the score in a match lasting 40 minutes.